um, after a little bit of studying, it keeps wanting to pick up. Uh, I just keep picking it up in that spot, and that's not the right spot to pick it up. And I don't have the release lever, so uh, I'll find something better for that. Regular pliers. So I'm comfortable with that. What I'm going to do is move that out of the pumpkin and see if that'll pick it up where I need it to. Um, it just keeps the spot that keeps um, getting grabbed. I really, actually, I ought to put it under the, the ball joint. Let me see if we can get it under there. I didn't realize this was going to be so tricky. I was going to bring in my shop crane, but I can't find the chain. Um, it is the right uh, spec for this. You could hide the whole damn Jeep off of it. Okay, so that's in place, that's kind of in place, that's not in place. All right, let me get a hammer to encouragement. Let's give it some encouragement. I'm really looking for a rubber one, but I don't see a rubber one, so. So it's got to come up so all right I heard a noise we're off that which I don't like there we go
I'm going to swing that out of the way because I need to understand how this fits in here. Let's see what size bolts these are. So now you're going to find an opposing socket or a wrench. I'm going to stop the camera because this could take a few minutes. Alright, so it is 130 foot pounds and 13 16 is a, uh, also an acceptable size socket that will fit this. but 21 is the correct size. So now I've got to reach around and give that a good dose of, I'm using blue Loctite because I do expect to take this apart again. So if you are in a pinch on your uh, sockets, you can use 13 sixteenths on the outside. here on hair. I'm going to go ahead and fix that and then I'll bring it down because I want it sitting on, I really want it sitting on the jack stand.
All right, something's wrong with this uh, torque wrench, so we're gonna stop using it. Hang on a second while I change it out. I don't think that was a particularly good view. You know, the funny thing is, um, I think this is kind of an expensive torque wrench. I think this might have come with a really expensive piece of equipment that I used to own, and so it's a damn shame that it's uh, lost its functionality. I'm gonna stop using it. I'm probably gonna throw it away. Uh, I don't like wrenches I can't trust, and it's not worth sent to calibrate. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight wrench, and it should be good enough. I keep my wrenches in a drawer. There we go, 130 pounds. All right, now I have to get, um, I gotta get my other wrench out of there and that's gonna require a pry bar. Dangerous move for 300, please. That's good enough for what we're doing. Um, we're just putting this back together. We've got one more nut underneath. So uh, I'll let you guys watch. So, I'm going to need a good hard whack. I need to scoot the axle back a little bit to get it into the groove. There's not really a nice way to do this. So first let's lock our progress. And again, I expect to take this part, so I'm using blue Loctite. All right, so I think what makes sense is to kind of lower this. And we're jacking the alignment all the hell up. In case you did not know that. All right.
So I'm just trying to get the cam bolt to sit in here. jack it up and push it forward. That's, I think that makes sense. Only thing I can think of is that it has to, I have to do the front first, which would be a pain in the ass. I think that actually work. All right, let me find the other pieces to this. Oh, 
nowhere and stole it back. there. Oh, it's upside down. Fuck it. It's got to come out. No two ways about it. How the hell do you tell the front and the back? Motherfucker. How did I get that thing upside down? God damn it. jack around with this by hand.
keep one of these. I think that was a problem last time. Is really this needs a 13 16 wrench. Let me grab one of those. Really what we need is a 21 millimeter wrench. Let me see if I can find that. I don't know if I have that. Alright, I think I found a uh, wrench that'll fit. So let's get this let's get this on the road. Well, I probably should go ahead and fit the other one first. So I found if you you can kind of wiggle. So you can slide with the, the axle support on a jack. You can just fucking bash it through. Because, yeah, I'm over it. Let's get this party started. Okay. What do we got going on next? So at this point, uh, All I need to do is set the lousy shock back in place. So let me find it. I was going to throw it away. I didn't. Uh, it is 110% shock. Where the hell did I put that piece of crap? Ah, it's up there.
So. Possible it's rock country, but. I just think there should be more spring to a shock than this. These kind of look worn out anyway. But in keeping with my goal of getting this thing on the road licensed before I put money, more money into it, I'm just putting these back in. Yeah, these shots are just shot it. side I don't think it'll be a big deal to uh, get them out again I mean, that one's a little bit of pain in the ass to get to but the rep, the, these should be easy to reach now on the other hand these nuts <laughs> yeah these nuts It really goes against the way I like to do things to put stuff back together that I know is not worth shit. But money, money, money. Now these bolts have 9.8 stamped on them, so I need to look up what torque is on them, although I think the answer is just set it in there pretty tight, but let me pull them out, pull one out and go measure it and see what the torque setting is supposed to be, or the torque value. Eight millimeter bolt. So it says two hundred fifty inch pounds. All right. So, hey Siri, what's two hundred and fifty inch pounds to foot pounds? Okay, I found this on the web for what's two hundred fifty inch pounds to foot pounds. Check it out. Says 20 foot pounds or 21, so we'll go with 21, that's slightly better. Siri doesn't want to answer the question, she just wanted to search the web, but the web had the answer. I'm sure Google will be trying to sell me inch pounds later on this evening when I'm on the internet. Google's business model is stealing your privacy. So is Facebook's. And they've bought off Congress, so Congress didn't really give a shit if they steal everybody else's privacy.
so that one's going to get tightened to 20 foot pounds and basically uh, what I refer to as tightened by feel. I think that's 20 foot pounds right there. See, that was easy. This, on the other hand, is probably going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, sorry, pain in the ass. So, oh, lucky 13. All right. All right. Now for my younger viewers, you won't recognize this, but the that. All right. If it was the love boat. I don't know who sang it because I don't sing worth shit. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. Oh good. This one's only got one side. Uh, let me see what the torque setting is for this. Suspension arm upper, 60 foot pounds. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. I think that's a 15 or 16. So let's start with 16. No, that's 15. All right, so. These go. Okay, three quarter out. The oh, fuck. Oh, it's over here on the ground. All right, so where's the three? So a uh, quick trip to Harbor Freight, and now I have a um, 3 8 torque wrench that I couldn't find, and I'm sure it's in a box somewhere or under something. So we're going to bring this up to 60 
uh, foot pounds, which is what the spec sheet calls for. phase of this project which is tomorrow I'm going to do the other side okay so uh, I think that's good I'm going to go ahead and lower this zero trust in it as stable as it ever gets. That's pretty stable.
All right, so that's it. Uh, it's locked down and uh, ready for the next phase, which is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to work on that side. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. And uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.